I'm Ash from AOL12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to target elements on a page using CSS. So let's get right to it. So in Dreamweaver I have an, just an index.html page with a style sheet linked to the page. Um, so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to talk about three types you can actually select, three elements you can select. So for one if I just come down here for example and just say um, we've got the tag which we can um, tag it, uh, we can have an ID and we can um, tag it a class. So basically I'm going to show you how to tag it these three elements on a page. Now before I get into how, how to actually target these, what I'm going to do is tell you that I to tag a tag, um, you won't really use it in the real world, but you can use it. Say, for example, if you just want to tag it, every body tag, so every page, um, you can do it that way. The body tag is probably the most useful, um, but any other thing is probably kind of useless in the real world. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you that anyway. An ID, which you'll probably know, and class which you'll probably know. Uh, if you don't know the difference between an ID and a class, ID is something that you will use once on a page. Um, so no, um, it doesn't um, duplicate over, so there's, there's only one, it's unique. And a class is something that can be used uh, through multiple um, elements. So say if you have five buttons, instead of calling them button one, button two, button three, you can just call it a class of button and then style that the button in CSS and then they will all take the, um, the same style. So anyway, let's get right to it. So first of all, we're going to target the tag. And um, so we've got a body up here now in styles.css. So in CSS, to target a tag, all you do is type in the tag name, which we have got a bod there as we're going to use example, and then open up your tags. And then here is where you would type your um, your code. So if I just put in something like um, background um, background color and change this oops background color to let's say a um, let's say this kind of blue here. So if I just save this out and refresh as you can see we get the body background changed and um, so that's how to tag it a tag and it can be used with anything else so um, if you've got another type of tag in there um, say an a tag for example so you've got a a link basically link here so we've got a link here and if I just put in the href um, just make it look like a link. So if I just take away this um, this body for now, so we haven't got we've just got a blank page. So we've got a link here. So basically, I can target now the a tag, and then put in here whatever we want. So instead of having the color as default blue, we can now change the color to um, let's say a this colour and as you can see we get that change there. So um, so basically targeting tags will target um, everything from from pages you create. So if I create another page now and put another link in there or an A tag rather then um, it will be um, pink. So that's um, tags, how to target tags, if we just go back to this default blue um, so now an ID, so what I'm going to create is a a div, just for example here I'm, based because I'm creating a div because um, put some text in there, I'm creating a div because a div is something that you would put as an ID to use once, you wouldn't replicate uh, div tags as such that's why I'm doing it. I'm using a div tag. 
Um, so a div ID is I'm going to put in uh, main content for example just to make it a bit more real world example. So we've got a div called main an ID of main content with some text and then if I refresh we get some text echoed out there. Well not echo or out there, that's PHP. Um so styles now to target a ID in CSS we use the hashtag and then the name of the ID so we put it as main content. So basically we can just do the same again so colour and change this to I'll use red this time and then um, it will change the colour of the text to red. So that's how to target IDs. So basically this will only be used once on a page. We'd only use divide uh, main content one on a page, once on a page. So now what I'm going to do is create let's get rid of these. Um, what else have we got? A class. Um, basically a class you can use this with any again. I'm going what I'll do actually is I'll create some some links here actually. So link one. If I just copy this down, actually if I just put a break on the end of that, just get some lines. Uh, so link one, link two, link three. Just put the hashes in there to make it look like a link. So we've got something like this. Okay, so we've got three links on three different lines. So now to target a class. So all we do is just put class in there, and then if I just come down copy paste okay um, a class so we can put it out as a link and then put in link so basically we can use multiple classes um, yeah link I was gonna change the button but so we've got a class as link so if you come into the source code um, it's just link there basically same as what we've got here so now to target a class in CSS and um, you put a dot so the period key um, and the name so we put it a link and then basically you can target um, style this now so if I put in colour again here and then put in let's say um, like a gold colour um, as you can see they all changed to gold because of this class so that's um, classes and it's very easy to target elements. These you can target a lot more elements using CSS, but these are the three main ones that are used in real world examples. So what have we learnt today? Um, so to target um, a a tag, so to tag a tag if I just come down here target a tag we use um, just the tag name so I bring tag name there to target um, an ID um, we used the hash key and class is used for um, the dot slash period key Okay, so that's uh, pretty much all the way to show you and how to actually target different elements on the page using CSS. And um, from there on, you can then just go ahead and style this even further. And um, you know, make it. I don't know. You can put a um, sorry, a border around this. I don't know why you would put a border, but I'm just showing you as an example. I like Dreamweaver how it actually shows you. Um, each property or value of the property you can actually set. So that's something I like about Dreamy. So I'm just going to put solid, and if I just refresh, as you can see, oops, if I just get rid of this now, imagine you've got a border around them. Um, I don't know why you'd probably put borders around them if you're going to um, create buttons, but anyway, I'm just showing you that these three can now be will share the same style now because we've set it as a class of link and we've called the class link so whatever we change in it will change to all three so that's a 
advantage of using classes you don't need to change each individual one and um, so I'm not going to talk anymore I'm going to let you go and play around with how with selecting different elements on a page so thanks for watching and I will see you next time